Now at 5 o'clock, the state is now reporting our first flu and RSV deaths of the season. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Erin Connolly. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio is joining us live now at the department. And Patricia, what are they telling you here about these victims? Well, they're not giving out specifics on them in terms of what their general health was, whether they had other health problems. But the Department of Health is saying that these deaths are a reminder that this time of year, cold and flu season, it's very important to get vaccinated. DPH Commissioner Manisha Juthani today announcing three deaths of the flu and RSV season, which began on October 1st. We had our first flu death for the season in the state of Connecticut. We also announced this morning our first RSV death in the state of Connecticut for this season. I found out shortly after we issued that press release that there was also a second RSV death. The flu death occurred in a Middlesex County resident who was in their 80s. The RSV deaths were with a person in their 80s from New Haven County and in a person from Hartford County who was in their 60s. In light of these deaths, the Department of Public Health urging people to get vaccinated to best protect themselves against flu, RSV, and COVID. The RSV shot particularly for people over age 60. One thing I would say overall is that the older you are, the more medical conditions you have. You have a number of more comorbid conditions, one on top of another. That can make you more at risk for any of these respiratory viral diseases, and I would encourage you talking with your provider about whether the RSV shot is right for you. It's a warning taken seriously by people like Jessica Savage from Norwich, who worries about her 11-month-old son getting RSV because babies can be highly at risk for the virus. But she also thinks about the elderly people in her family. We actually have some grandparents and great-grandparents coming to visit next week. If it comes up in conversation, I definitely would recommend it, if, um, you know, and, and make sure that they protect themselves as well. Now, doctors say that COVID and flu and RSV and the common cold can have similar symptoms. Coming up at six o'clock, we'll talk about how to try to recognize RSV symptoms in elderly people. Live at the Department of Health in Hartford, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Patricia, thank